game when you're the core mid, where you might actually just be able to kill this Coddle. And uh, I was surprised to see it coming mid. I thought that maybe it was going to be Jabs again, playing the Coddle on the off lane. They tried to do some shenanigans there, but uh, yeah, RML just needs to just totally snowball this game like any mid Coddle does. Right, and the one danger and the big thing that's like the elephant in the room here is you don't have that small camp to work with to anymore. Battle. Mm -hmm. Panel talked about on Dire's side, you can retreat back to the jungle, the little Death Valley area uh, up and to the left. Um, but that doesn't necessarily secure you the same type of acceleration of farm that you would want. Um, we did see also in the mid lane there for just a second, Sumail was trying to faint like he placed a ward, uh, dropped one on the ground and picked that one up on Kuro after the fact. Uh, as they place a ward down in a one position where it actually doesn't see the ward there. Uh, DJ, he blocked off by the shards, toss up. Oh my goodness. GH saves the day. And DJ from the low ground, one miss, two miss. Can they bring him down? No. DJ gets out of there. I'll just do a little, little run back to the base here. Not too bad. So no first blood yet. And uh, I don't think any uh, any mix-ups here. It looks like everyone's just going to go where, where their roles are uh, you know, to take them here. So, uh, yeah, the big thing, though, definitely uh, that dire side impact, as you were saying before. I don't know if you could run in, like, a bad matchup, per se. Like, the, I don't even know if you just want to be a mid-radiant coddle. I feel like now, without the small camp, like you said, like, you need this dire side. But uh, they also have a Templar Assassin. And, of course, uh, Palos, he, he's going to want stacks. He's going to want ancients, too, so... You should have shown that coming. The him. Is always oh, that's dangerous. That's a lot of damage coming in from the old ET man. Jay will having a really good time. Mullet is too strong, as are his punches. Uh, God, I love that one there. Uh, but yeah, yeah he, he needs to play Omni. Omni has a great mullet cosmetic, and the hero's oh, good yeah. now. So, I mean, the hero was Let's good before it. anyway, but still, yeah. You know, when you're telling me that you don't want to play Dire Side uh, Coddle it, out of the mid lane, if I'm going to be honest, I don't want to play Corcado anywhere. I mean, it just yeah. feels like it's just got so heavily nerfed. I want to see if Armel can make it look good. I don't think at least we've seen any yet uh, amongst the, the entire matches that have gone on at the tournament so far. Um, and there were some interesting little things like the level 10 Talon minus two seconds illuminate cooldown, but uh, the spirit form duration increase, the, the cooldown on it, all these things mean that you don't have that same like constant snowball presence that the hero had before. Uh, but Armel was one of the best of them before. Maybe he's got some sauce here to work with. And you know, there's a lot of things that are still there. The hero still farms like crazy. Uh, probably one of the fastest that you can get. It's very reminiscent of like old school Broodmother that I think of in terms of like crashing the mid lane, eating every camp up. That, that's sort of what you're trying to do. But then you have the added global mobility that um, Broodmother never had. Since you're always like locked to your webs. So you just come in, you nuke people, you try and assist on the kills. It's it's still a very interesting role. So uh, Armel will definitely be looking to prove that it is still viable. It's in the bottom lane, a toss back. Crow aims a... Uh, towards the, the creeps though. You didn't have to get them all the way over to jab. So not enough tower shots for the kill. That might've been that nerf that came out from the toss. Uh, again, just a little bit less distance there at those early levels. Regardless, um, still some good uh, pressure and damage on there. And uh, the other elephant in the room that we've kind of been talking about has been uh, this toddle and how worth it is it to sort of keep this creep up or rather this hero up. Um, I was wondering if he was going to take over the... I'm watching, dude. I'm the watching. Black Bear check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that's what you should take it. Doesn't look like Kuro's taking it right now, but it's it's a lot of good regen. Um, and it looks like, no, they're just going to decide to take it themselves. We saw the stacks getting built up by our in the jungle. Uh, they're working to get him a nice inflated bank account. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they got tangos. They got headshots already. More important to get the gold right now in their eyes. And, well, more important to get some kills. Jay well, still trying to get active. GH pops the fairy fire. A couple more punches. The turnaround and the ET. Will he fall too? We'll punch the fairy fire there too. That's a top five. Though. He yeah. had like a salve that he bought. Ooh. Did he bring no. any regen though? No. Talos did not. Yeah. Oh, his courier was already on the run. Never mind. I see. His courier is almost here with the salve. Tangos. We're fine. But uh, not a lot of turnaround potential with these two heroes, right? Like TA and ET, like, you have to hit the stomp. TA has nothing to help you in these situations. So it's not easy for them to punish the low HP of GH and uh, MC right now. Does Armel get the double stack? It does look like he will there. So triple 
on these camps. Let us and fight. no vision nearby for Nygma Galaxy. They should know that this type of stuff is coming their direction. And actually, Hill coming in with some solid denies. Ten denies. Right to mail on this tusk. Yeah, I mean, he's just playing tight in the wave. He's dodging a lot of uh, the limited damage with the snowballs. And just, you know, he's, he's a beefy hero overall, so you can see why this magic works well for the Tusk. Uh, the question is, will he be able to evade and actually contest the stacks? And as a hero, he definitely can. Will he have allies that are willing to do it with him? Uh, that's yet to be seen. Bottom lane, been watching a lot of what DJ's been up to. He's just been non-stop body blocking the small camp and ensuring that they keep the block on the hard camp there too. So Kuro really having a hard time trying to get much done as a Chen. He's not really playing Chen. He's just kind of in the lane and uh, and helping Dream himself uh, get the farm started, which is all fine, but you're not getting a big benefit out of this hero that you really want here. Oh man, hook just barely Kinda off close. the mark there on Paulos. Almost got <laughs> Shaved him. Shaved a whisker or two, you know? Uh, they also saw while that was going on though, the Tusk come on in, came on in, contested the stacks, and also stole some from them. Radiant's the middle tower so is Sumail, under attack. not only denying out Armel's farm in the lane, but also messing with it a little bit here in the jungle. Oh, and GH gets there in time too to take the bounty run away and steal some XP as he stalks this uh, Keep It Light. Yeah, I'm getting low in the bomb lane at the same time though. Keep our eyes on that. And GH, oh, he's pulling it out of the Illuminate. Dude. That was sick. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, it's so personalized and, like, perfectly timed, all this stuff. And GH doesn't have the mana quite yet for the Fade Bolt, but he's still trading these ones away. And Sumail, no. want to finish him off? No. no. Doesn't get all oh. of them. He got one, though. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Dream of Cell has to time walk, dodges the damage from jabs. DJ playing together with them, and they get a little bit of separation so a really good recognition i think from both teams of like what fanatic feel like they need to do they need to sort of get this cod mega farmed and likewise nick mcgalaxy coming in to contest that and stop that from happening a little looks like with gh gone though mc had to go all the way back home before making his way back to the lane immediately comes back and hooks a catapult though always feels great on a punch and uh, the wave looks like it's going to be closing on the tower again here. Nothing that Palace can really do about this. So MC's going to get it's a couple of free waves. A punch player loves to see. Dyer's career's gone Going down straight in, in for the treads as DJ's career. A bit far out, mind control. Keeping this pressure onto Palos as they're still playing around that ward. But eventually, with the rotation over, DJ, will it be enough? Oh, he's still one. They have a health back, but the rotation comes in from Jamel. They find the tiny. No armor on this guy. My control kills off DJ. A little bit of help from GH. They find Paulos too. It's Jamel. He's making some solid rotations here. Yeah, that just feels like the pressure of maybe not being able to do anything bottom lane brings DJ up top. And I mean, he did a good job securing an early start for Jabs, right? By like, controlling the waves and ensuring that there's going to be a lot of space from the farm. That's been great for Jabs. But when your first rotation to the top results in a, a death like that and, you know, kind of baiting Palos into death as well, that is not great versus a Pudge. So, uh, it's just fleshy. Coming on out. Well, that's this year. Ball out of control. Seven minute mark. Immediately, Kuro, after taking over the mid lane for a little bit, starts to go to jungle and getting a lot of farm uh, going on with this range. Piercing damage is so nice. Can they get this kill bottom? Yes, they will. Mel moves in, finishes off. Actually, insane to me. Like, Dyer's items. middle tower Plus is five under all attack. attributes. You know what I mean? Like that. Radiant's bottom When you only have like, the Kuro only has like 30 strike. He's a plus five. You know. It's like, Dyer's it's middle tower like 10 is under increase attack. Increase total HP. But uh, he did pass back over to us to nail there. So it's okay. But uh, yeah, very important kill to bomb lane. Obviously, popping out that coil, double null and treads. Jabs is a, a frightening figure, but being stable in the lane trying to slow down dream of farm and uh still not to level six yet gotta be careful Dyer's um, Armel has stuck around attack. here and Dyer's they get the right angle they're looking he comes out with the female that stops the pressure face forward he's almost got six has it now but they immediately back away on the rest of fanatic so heads up play yeah with that said uh, he can't be going to theoretically continue this pressure DJ instead just wants to run over here and secure himself a bounty ring. No ball mid on the Armel with the Tumblr Soy though. 
Going in, has to back out. GH. Five. Playing a little bit of interrupt. Jabs has Coil back up again. And Sumail too far out here. He is really tanky though. DJ moves in. All right, we're four heroes. Yeah, he's gonna be under attack. So Sumail takes a little bit of a dive, gives up his life. Enigma Galaxy try to get some pressure on the other lanes after the mid is brought down. I mean, that gives a little bit of space to dream himself, but I mean, Jabs is immediately just right back down here. I, I think uh, a bit greedy to try and snowball at that point without a lot of allies, right? Versus like bots and Tumblr toy. <laughs> Maybe not expecting yeah. that much of a gap to be formed. Radiance Armel rotating on top here with DJ here. They're gonna try a uh, Ava into toss back, but no, Armel's not joining him. He's just going to farm. Okay. Dyer's courier's gone down in job. flames. Yeah, is he? <laughs> And have a pushback while Paulus dies to the Sumail rotation. So with DJ coming in to help secure the kill onto G, that sets up for the TA's death. Dyer's top tower is oh. under attack. So it's like uh, trades. He just walked up an ult eater, from what I can tell. Dyer's top That's what tower gets you. Is no hope required. Player. It takes a real something special to just let them walk up and, and ult you. Well, you know, when the when the Tusk is showing up for the big damage, you're not expecting it necessarily. You think you're safe. But those refractions are going to last longer than Fudge. Now having the full hood complete, and this is a great hood game. I mean, look at that enemy team. That is so much magic damage. Gaps doesn't have anything. The time dilation wrecking face right here. And the snowball means you cannot get it's away. Wow, Faceless soul. Void, pretty good against Puck. Turns out, huh? Instant smoke up as well from GH and Sumail. They want to keep this pressure up, see if they can hunt down some of these heroes in that dire jungle. Knows that they got a farm. Dire scan, they missed the entrance. Thought maybe they were smoking that way. They know they're coming the other avenue, though. Hollow sleep. Can get any? Yeah, they're fine. They're not gonna catch anybody here. In fact, if they're not careful, they might just get stomped on. Interrupted. Well played by GH. Now he gets for a turn. So they end up getting the kill after uh, a little bit of a failed gank. That's interesting. And this is often Fnatic knew what was coming. Like they, they drew the line. They saw exactly what was going on. That's why they scanned one direction and then just kind of stood there to block the other. That's why the boss shards in terms of like blocking out the staircase. Unfortunately, Tiny, not a support that like pops off at level six. You know, this is not your snap fire or something where you're immediately into comeback zone. No, it's uh, it's gonna be a while for him. And meanwhile, you take a look at the other hero that's somewhat farmed in this game. Kuro on this Chen has the mechanism done. Um, obviously, this item got buffed in the last patch for some reason, uh, but has Hand of God <laughs> now on top of the mechanism. Like, it's, it's time to go for Chen. He might not have got to play Chen at the beginning of the game with all the camps being blocked, but uh, he's in the right now. He's a little bit breathing room, all the kills his allies are getting. But he's way better now. And if God is that healing over time, they break the coil. Will it be enough though? The stomp, it's there to interrupt, but they do have enough damage to finish up. Armel, the snowball. Yes, to get away, actually. And Sumail, it's just getting the kill and then getting out. Kuro will die here. So two for one in the end, and Fnatic make a very solid read of the situation and punish hard. Yeah, no, no chance to keep it Sorry, DJ. I mean, it would be nice if we guys blink faster, but all that matters is trying to slow down uh, the push and uh, the, the pressure that Nick must can put out right now because, you know, the, there's a mechanism, there's a pudge who wants to stack it up. You might wish to uh, is anything coming? I don't know. That's just uh, his bullet. But I mean, he's like Bracer, Wand. Like, he's filling up the inventory, you know, just go Soul Oh, yeah. Wand, Hood, yeah, okay. It's pretty stacked. That's the way to be. Happy to be in the dead lane. No solar vine, so. Well, let's see how much damage they get. Oh, they're all four. Yeah, they're, they're on top. Charges, dodging damage, and four heroes. Doesn't matter. Can't stop mind control. Big, big boy. That's a but big that rotation does... force, considering they didn't even have a coil, though. That's true. Bye! Catches Armel, snowball in, he 
gone too far this time, though. GH is there. It's the silence out still very tanky on the Tusk. Breaks on the coil. Pushback. Sumail in trouble. Assault not going to connect on the DJ, but it's not quite enough damage to kill off Sumail. Jabs will not <laughs> jaunt forward. He thought about it and yeah. immediately graced by a regen. Regeneration. Ah, that's, uh, that's a bit tough. Tough deal there. Uh, nice play from Fnatic, though. This idea, you know, I like the fact that they're trying to battle them, and, and they had a, uh, a potential to get there, like the coil punish on there, and just, you know, just slight little attack. misses. And uh, Dream is also joining in early, right? Like having this Chrono threatening, he's gonna do something. Caesar Mel, does he have the damage here? Radiant's oh, he is so slow. And actually, a couple more punches, it's enough. With the help from his team, he gets there. Sumail chases in, finds DJ, tries to toss away. Dream of Self can't get close enough to bring down that us. Or excuse me. Yeah, just need a little bit of help right at the end there, right? Plus the, the sword and waiting rift. Is a nice sword in terms of uh, the bonus damage there. Now having the avalanche as well on G8. That's my favorite spell to see alive save right now. Just because it's like constantly tiny through the game. And it's just so ridiculous with Arcade Supreme. Go and fight How good the uh, avalanche is. And at the range on it. Feels... Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's like a mini rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the meantime, Marcel. Stepping up forward is a trap in waiting. Finds him. Everything dropped down. And does he get out? Hand of God? No. Go no. no. Jabs, good job holding that waning rift. On the other side, Kuro dies to DJ. They just have too much consistent control. If there's no one else nearby, right? There's no, like, snowball like, no saver attack. come out or something like that. And uh, they're playing their lineup exactly how they need to right now from Fnatic. Pressuring in here towards this tower. They have the catapult. Palo's happy to finally sort of like win this lane, you know, for a while. But, uh, Radiant if, you know, are if we get to the 1v1s, this is the goal. Just go to the tower. Oh, right. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, DJ. Radiant's tower is under attack. Oh, oh, Radiant's tower is under attack. Beaten up by a walrus. You are all right. Radiant's tower is under attack. Uh, really very traumatic. A uh, walrus still has the haste rune as well here. And is that a finished BKB? My goodness. I mean, he is top it of the is. board, even out farming the Keeper of the Light. Armel's been busy, I you know. For you. Also, Armel with the uh, hashtag for Raven must play the hashtag for me. Shut up. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, oh, so, true. You can power up the top of the I mean, they, they definitely need it. Um, because again, we talked about this. It's just not quite the same hero when it takes that much longer to get the ball rolling on the coddle. Uh, can't stay. I mean, I, 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 maybe, maybe they still like last pass. Oh my god, they just killed Dream of some pop. Um, yeah, Jabs. How did this? Dude. That centaur, they were there. They combo it. Oh! Kuro, <laughs> he's the one that gets the kill in the end, too. I'll take shit. that. We keep waited on the freaking orb. That was nasty. Hey, that was shit. sick. It's not often you get the, uh, the centaur punishing a puck. Like, come on now. Kuro, relax a little bit here. The old man, he's still got it, you know? He might not have the fastest fingers, but he's got the anticipation, and that's what it takes. The smoked up centaur, so he couldn't see it. That's nuts. So a very, a much closer game than I feel like we've had in a lot of our other series. Uh, that's pretty exciting. 11 to eight. It feels like a lot of times, um, you know, when the patch first comes out, there's a couple of stomps here and there, but as the teams get a better understanding of it, then it stops being much the sort of one way stomps. But I don't know if you have any person that's there, but it's just it I think part of the uh, the issue right now for Enigma is definitely just like getting Dreamo Cell into the game. Uh, th there's a lot of great vision right now, as you can see from Fnac. They have Ward by the Roche, they have Ward up in the Triangle, they have Ward in the Radiant Jungle. So they know exactly where everyone on Enigma is at the moment. And they're just kind of farming up waiting. And they know Simil is very alone if they can actually punish here. Stop the Mel, dodges the burst. Mel 
Tries to get out of there. He's already used all of his abilities. The Sumail in trouble. But none of his team is there to help him. Pops the BKB. That's not the reveal he wants, but it might be enough to get him out. Buying space, getting time to Chrono. The turn. Dream also finds him, but the Avalanche to interrupt. He's got Hook for round two. Can they bring down anybody? No, the Hook. The four staff was there. He wasn't ready. Sumail's still living. His Jabs tries to chase him. Wants to go in for the punch. Dream of Cell hoping to help, but there's nothing there. Back on the land of the living heroes, Hollows, the sub, he gets brought down. Fraction. So, oh, one for one exchange. As Igma, no for any more. Jabs did not get hit by that time dilation. Mind control still willing to go in. He finds it. He's hook now under our mount. Stomp to try and interrupt. Avalanche on to three. Toss. Run. Follow. Run. Or Get Lohan away damage run from the big fat man. I like how Jazz will like, back out. He's like chucking stones at this guy as he runs away. He's like, yeah, that's right. You better run. <laughs> Vanguard punch. <laughs> Literally taking zero damage at the moment, but uh but in the end they do top for new TA. At, uh, that fight would have went worse if the the coil had taken on snow. They ended up dodging it with a snowball, so that's what uh Cause jabs to take a little bit longer on that kill, and then that obviously helps uh, bring down Palace on the other side because they have that time to just focus him. And then, you know, you, you see this poor rot. Uh, MC just walks on. Refraction gone in an instant. Not a great match. Uh, an excellent punch pick as well, again, because we, we saw at Arlington a lot of teams going for this punch versus the puck uh, in terms of the mid matchup. But then uh, throughout the game, obviously some nuisance because it's very hard to person down, and then versus the TA, just play Dota. A uh, little bit, you know, both ways though, is your obviously a low armor. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Well, and the other thing to kind of watch for is the change up here. Has not decided to go fallen. for the Aghanim Scepter first. Going mm -hmm. Blink instead with the Vanguard in the hood and going Ags next. So there's still a lot of room left to throw here for with Galaxy. And for Fnatic, Radiant's bottom kind of tower waiting for is what their attack. next move is. Because, again, you're not seeing that, like, sort of snowball out of control type of uh, game from them that you might expect. Now, there is a yeah. drop in here. Is under attack. And, uh, no century, but I mean, it hurts the TA, so they're going to know. Probably get so many centuries. Before we drop one down. Uh, yeah. Little snowball to dodge it, but the rest of the team moving in. They have vision. Up on the high ground, the time control still is fine. Go to take the fight. Waiting for him. Yeah. Gets a little bit of separation. Mind control chasing, and the hook is there. He knew it. Remember, round two, he's get away. Snowball in. Chase the stun, the punch, dead. Chrono on to both. They've got Palos trying to throw DJ first. That's the save that would have been there, but Palos has to blink out. So, Nick McGalaxy, after moving in for Roche, take the fight, win it up big. Oh my god, and there's some more. Dude, they baited this so well. That's sick. Armel, does he manage to get away? The snowball, the death coming your direction. Armel eventually killed. Dude, they, they could have dropped the, like, Century Ward down, but the trap being in there actually helped them out. Yeah, and uh, in the time frame of uh, buying his like, dagger, he's already made 600 gold. It just arrived, Sumail. So you keep trying to contest again. You're definitely getting hopped on. And uh, DJ dying there too. Unfortunately, he tried to blink in the toss out of Jabs to uh, try and save him from that. That's why he went down to get Chrono to the attempts of the Nice stable play from Nigma here. It's exactly what you want to do, right? You, uh, oh, you yeah. go for the roach with your Chen army. You're willing to fight the whole time. And uh, MC's just on point. Hits that hook on the puck. Going that top three there. And they just can't handle it right now. He's too strong. Seeing, showing a lot of the reasons why this hero is such a great answer for that puck, for sure. Mind control. Having a field day in this one. See this replay here. Yeah, this I mean, is the, the blink up break. Like, look at how he's just controlling. Like, they put this ward down. They know they're going to D ward. And, like, I know that you know that we have wards here by just that coverage again. Join the pucks, maybe not as slippery as uh, we like to think, right? You know, between the centaur catch in the room, we got hooks catch right. in the orb out. Yeah. Long blink. Like, this is maybe supposed to be that survival yeah. build. I got to learn the matchup, maybe, huh? Is that what it is? This is a knowledge check? Okay, so obviously, yeah. They have very good tools this game, so it's a little bit tougher for Jabs. And he's a slightly you know, under oh, no. because of the offlane. 
Talos charts not quite gonna hold him in place. Good blink out there. That was uh, one of those moments if you're not watching your hero, you're dead. Radiant yeah, that's very disappointing. If I double blink and miss that kill still. Uh, oh no. They get the kill on the puck. But he might be in some trouble here. Put to sleep, Avatar. Oh no. Oh, that was rough. My thrift rewarded. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, <laughs> to be the agent hero and die twice for an on-play puck. They recover. Losing heroes left, right, and center. GH able to bait it. Use that base shift. Dies in the end of the puck. Puck. Jabs. Coil. On to three. Ooh, just they have a light light. They've got it. Try to push him out of there. Break the coil. Only hits on the one. But it's a good one to get. Kuro dead. Jamail now trying to find Armel. See if they can finish him. But the great silence. Mike comes in for the completion. Just decides, I, I don't want to be here anymore. And there's nothing to break it. So a really weird exchange for Enigma Galaxy. And yeah, I mean, you wonder what would have been if they would have been able to deward that. Oh, that's nice though. I mean, you know, only two points in the aura so far, but having the veil here uh, from Januel, right? Like trying to cut through this damage. They know they have damage to so everything they can here. Oh, this yeah. cost okay, it does not matter. Okay, veil Dota, ladies and gentlemen. It's very strong. Like, you need to find some other magic resistance or something going out from these guys because he's just getting rocked. Okay, I, I thought he was just a god, but they have a warrant directly on my control GH because he just face shifted that hook, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> That's his vision right there. Creep skin. What happened to the lead here, Gabe? Because guess what? Fnac, you know, they, they just stalled out your Aegis. You threw it away. You died twice. Uh, now Baron control the side of the map. Great fight with the Earth Splitter and the combination of the Veil. Cutting through the damage. Husk and Pudge. Kind of, you know, stalling out a little bit here. And he didn't go for a, uh, a Deso or something like that. So because he went for this Blink Dagger, which I think is fine. Since, you know, it's, it's a crazy amount of damage already. It's relatively squishy heroes on Fnatic. And you have this defensive option of the Hand of God. The Blink's good. But when you miss a bunch of kills, right? And then you end up feeding after this Blink Dagger. And it feels pretty bad. Let us fight. It's a true statement. It's it's really tough. You know what I feel like that happened Radiant's in that moment? Tower is is my under again, underneath the ward, a little bit scary there. Um, you know, Dream of Silk goes in, tries to get the solo kill on a puck. Radiant's Things go wrong. And he's like, guys, you can fight. It's fine. Don't worry about it. They used all their spells on me. And then it just all hell broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like in that Radiant's moment. Where like, yeah, we can go in a um, That's pretty accurate. That worked out so well. And uh, like DJ actually has has a good purpose now. Like with this blink dagger Radiant's and the combination of the veil, the solar bind, uh, they, and uh, as well as the ET aura, like he is more relevant than you're usually going to have from a tiny at this point Radiant's in the game. Bottom tower Even if he's not getting attack. crazy tossback plays, just his raw damage output is actually very useful. DJ has been oftentimes Southeast Asia, just like the absolute rock of this team. Uh, that dual offlane that they've got with him and Jabs is something special, and they're set up to be the playmakers to make it happen again. See if they can do it in this one. Nigma, you need to come up with some answers here as they will smoke up. This, like they're going to find it, but that is very spread out, farming the entire map. Oh, DJ, a good read, too. He's out of there. Bottom tower is under attack. TA traps helping out as well, of course. And we got vision all over the place. No one's there for a while. Maybe kind of knowing there's a smoke happening. Wolves finish for the puck. Trying to become that slippery hero. Under attack. TP down bottom from GH. Jabs jumps him. Uh, that was a stolen waiting rift. Still trying to kill. Might go for it, dude. Jabs. What a monster. This dude. This is not gonna. This is. This, this was never gonna be good. Oh my god, GH just outplayed him so hard. Oh man. Where did he even go? Did he. I actually. I don't even see what happened. I don't even know what he did. Oh, that replay in a second. I mean, if nothing else, that waning rift play was so sick. 
Um, I don't know if he actually sold the sold a base shift. That might have been what it was too. Meanwhile, punch down bottom. Mind control finds the hook, gets him. Hero and friends nearby starts to beat on Palos. It's a very dead guy. Mind control now looks for more. DJ in trouble. And Fnatic, over the course of the last few minutes, have thrown away so much of the lead that they have been slowly and steadily building up together. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So this else? is one of those situations where like, oh, dude, man. they all are dying. They literally all die. What happened? Middle tower is under all right, so attack. this is what happened. It's like the agent is coming back up. We're taking a lead. This is good. We need to just like split push, right? Like push these side lanes out. Everyone Dyer's do your thing. Oh, we have great vision. We know where attack. they are. Traps are everywhere. And then one person goes a little bit too far. And that was Jab. You know? Okay, so so he gets coiled. I, see, I can see that was zoomed in for That's what it is. All right, now he gets oh, coiled. Yeah. Oh, that was oh. his orb. I see. Okay. Yeah. And then mind control just eats him. Yeah. Big play. That, that explains it. A little help from his friends. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we ate him and he blinked over. That makes way more sense. That was very Dyer's cute. Structures are thank you, uh, thank you, replay. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Is saved. It's, it's interesting, right? Because you kind of have the duality. First, it happens with Dream of Cell, where he dives in under the tier two tower, and everything goes crazy. And then you have it here where it's Jazz that dives under the tier two tower for the, the kill now onto the Rubik. And then everybody on Fnatic dies over the next like minute and a half. And now GH is a Lotus Orb, so he can't even get jumped by Jabs right now. Yeah. GH is That's a, a problem. And he's on one. Huh. Snowball save. We have the uh, the munching the friend with dismember. Now all we need is a telekinesis on GH, and it's gonna be really hard to jump anyone this game. Smoke on smoke. But, uh, oh, it's a big roche. It's a long roche. They're gonna run into him. Sumail, the first one caught. Is he gonna be the next one to feed? Snowball, trying to wait for the rest of his team to get here in time. Good sound. He gets the point out. Dream of self fight. DJ. In the meantime, Paulo's BKB, the fraction starting to wear down low because of separation. Sumail, they yeah. chase down. Sumail is dead, but a good chrono finds both of those cores. Blinding like we're just a couple out of there, but Dream Cell with the batches, with the finish. They bring down another. GH, can he find any more? Why it look like it hook? Armel <laughs> does the dosi do says goodbye. And can't get there to break the TP in the end. For one. I think Palace was dead anyway, but Armel actually bounced uh, MC out of the chrono so then he could walk around and, <laughs> and start killing Palos with the rot. Yeah. But I, I think he was he was close enough anyway that it might not have that. Yeah, it was a noble attempt to try and save his carries. All you could really do is the coddle. But and again, good news for Fnatic is it is long roach. Right. Chrono uh, will probably close to back up by the time the battle's oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 go, buddy. See you later. Okay, this so is this is why spot. pro players need auto attack turned on. Just saying. <laughs> like, that, if that ever happened to me as a pro player, I feel like I would just never forgive myself. As much as I hate auto attack. You know what I mean? True. Like, maybe I should just be A-clicking whenever I'm walking through the fog or something. It's a, it's a possibility. Especially if you're a bash hero. Yeah. I mean, he had blast rigs, so, you know, you get one, right? You, you gotta hit it on that first one. Carlos DJ. They're getting prepped to jump. Uh, do they find him? Dream will sell. Won't be the one that's caught. Instead, it's Kuro. This gen is brought down. And now, Jabs messing around with them a bit more. Has the Manta ready to go. Yule Scepter. And the big turn. Apollo's in trouble. Even in the BKB, he can't stand against them. It's way too much damage. DJ has to blink out. DH still chasing, wanting to find somebody here. I have fun to Jay doesn't have TP for 22. He's got to do his juke and choose. Get him out of here. As a fourth staff, blink back up in one second. Wants to get out and he has to buy 10 more seconds here. Jab, slight intercept, hoping to buy some time for his friend. Just feeds relentlessly. Uh, but they still managed to get DJ out. <laughs> Around. He is going to TP back though. Fortunately, it's back to the well. They're in the road trip. He will not be here to contest this. I mean, Fnacker is going to have to let this one go. Well, they have the, the ETA or in there. 
Dude, he hit the aura creep thing. Over in that one little section. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe well gonna send it out again. Let's get low. He does not have the shard. Can they do it? Can they play interrupt here? Slow ball. That uh, Sunil shard, yeah. Pretty good one. Best versus blinks, but hey, it's versus a Templar assassin, so it's just more instances of damage. Maybe that'll help pay off at some point. 4K gold. That's all that's separating these two teams. Very interesting. Next couple of minutes here. How do Fnatic deal with this Aegis on Faceless Boy? No tier two towers have been taken yet. I feel like Dream is unlikely to just feed it away again. Yeah, he'll probably play this a little bit more cautiously with it being the second Aegis. First one, it, it's a feeding rush. It's fine. You know, you're just farming, you're trying to start a dumb fight for your team. That's cool. But this one, this one likes to hit high ground if you can. And that's not necessarily like a super timing push right now necessarily for Nigma. Like I think their heroes still have some uh, potential just based on like the general level of the net worth. But going later and later and later and later, there's quite a few issues for these heroes on the side of Fnatic that you have to contend with. So better to just get things done now. Bottom tower is under attack. Structures are going south. Hands don't end up connecting there. Dream of Cell does a little okey doke dodge. Jabs will take this time to kill off the creep wave. So no backdoor protection taken away. And in the moment, Paolo's got some good pressure on. Next got that bottom tower. They're still hunting the TA, trying to kill her, but a little melt. bit of distance away. Yeah, that vision would have seen him if he didn't melt there. He's just outside of Sentry, too. Okay, gee, he got really lucky. Just <laughs> That's true. Talos making space, you know, him coming back in here and clearing that wave. This is something that they need to deal with on Enigma Galaxy. It's going to be the tower almost Radiant's within deny range because of it. Under attack. It's like uh, Jabs as well has the uh, unassembled uh, Aeonis in his inventory here. So. Tire's top tower is under That's attack. That's a work but, uh, all right, so high ground defense, right? You have ET, you have Tiny, you have a Keeper of the Light with a Scythe and a Dagon. This is not an easy high ground siege. They, they really need that, like, bad give up. And where does that happen? Where does somebody die, Lyrical? In Death Valley, Trent. That's where they die. Is that what you're talking about? Sometimes. No, I was more so thinking, like, trying to push out a lane, you know? Okay, trying to push out it. mid. Yeah. You know, there's usually one or two heroes. Ooh, Save your buddy Syndrome though. comes in. Demo Cell. Looking for an opening cheat. Oh, they went south. We didn't get him. Damn, dude, that would have been huge. Our melt team going to get this next wave. They are... Uh... <laughs> What's interesting is this is the way that Nick McGalaxy used to play. This is how they won TI. Coddle off in the trees, pushing side lanes. GH, get your heart out. the outpost here as Nigma want to track down these pesky heroes and just can't get their teeth into it. Oh, they, they got the wave mid though. So the tower, that objective, it doesn't run away. So it's time to hit this, time to force something. And uh, if MC hits a good hook, I mean, look at that, right? That's a dream of self hunting for. He's like, anyone back here. Like, if Connell Charity is trying to blast this wave, this tiny looking for a jump to try to lurk in the back. They just need one little mistake, one tiny slip up, and they can be going high ground right now. And Palos, they look Dude, like they, they know. That ward, they know. They saw him on the ward. Uh, Palos, Link, Cliff, Armel, Jabs, they're nearby. It's going to end up hurting them pretty bad. The turn, the fight, they weren't ready to mail. He's caught by his own shards. You don't see that every day. Dream of Cell tries to find him, and there's the coil lifting him out of harm's way. Palos is out. Okay, so they missed the kill, but they did get the mid tower. They could keep this pressure if they want to. There's no coil. It's uh, a bit of a risky spot on the map in some ways. They don't have the best vision here right now. Stomping, trying to slow this down, and Jabs goes for the risky play. MC, the blink. No, he doesn't go to it. He can't jump the, the orb. All right, Jabs, don't get too lippy now. All right, he's, he's hit you before. 
Jabs is like really good because he's that that guy that just like he just doesn't stop talking. To me. He's constantly spamming the chat wheels, trying to annoy you a, a bunch. It's like the perfect offline mentality. I appreciate his never-ending ego. You know, I, I like that. Go off and fight me. Good place to be. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Grouping like they want to smoke here inside of uh, big mode, or they just want to follow a creep wave. You know, dock your ways. But no smokes means uh, very likely to be detected. They are running around though with this gem. So they're just hunting for these traps right now. Well, and what's interesting is that I kind of thought that Fnatic would have been willing to take a fight once this Aegis is expired, is but they're still attack. kind of playing this spread out, wait the late game mentality, it feels like. Yeah, they're very close to having buyback and uh, Daedalus on their TA, so that's probably why. Palace can be bad, really hit hard at that point. Levels-wise, it's still relatively top even amongst those top attack. fours. The big standout is uh, Rubik, who's been able to slain. get up to level 19, has an Aeon Disc now on top of the Blink Lotus. Mm. Radiant's top but tower is under attack. I don't know Shard yet, though. I feel like it, it is what? such a positioning game right now. Like, between the Shard, between the area denial of an Elder Titan, uh, I feel like this is all like space being controlled in these fights. Where I think that the uh, this health piece will be pretty huge. Oh, that is gonna be the day to lift, and he's still 800 gold away from buyback. They're gonna smoke out with this now on Fnatic, so they can fight somewhere further away from their base. So hopefully, you know, if they lose the high ground fight, probably losing the racks. Maybe there's a chance if he loses this, he can still get the push afterwards. We're watching for the site though. Love high ground, they spot him. Jump. Not the snowball. They keep him alive. Dude, to mail. He was so ready for that. The fight's broken for Fnatic. Can they make something of it still after the fact? Sleep on the two. Able to dodge it. And the chrono connects. Oh my god, that's pretty. Takes them both down. Danny Wall in trouble. Gets bash. Mike control chase scene. They finish him off. Three for nothing. And to mail the one that ran in, broke that smoke. Was able to dodge the damage coming in. Yeah, and that all comes from RML not popping the site on the top. Probably just saying, like, you know, I'm not going to have damage to kill him. Or, like, I'm not believe he's going to be there. But then the preemptive BKB from Dream of Cell keeps him protected, gets the chrono off, and RML could just do nothing but watch. He fight now without the BKBs, but you know, it might just be too late now for Fnatic in this one. At least for this lane. Down their structures. boldly. They blow open the lead completely for Nygma. And like you said, they've got a lot. They've got Hex. They've got Dagon 4. They've got so much damage. And with no Chrono, they would love to be able to fight. But like you mentioned, no buyback on that TA. I mean, this might be a second set of racks now, too. Such a heavy punish. And they, they just can't get anything, but they're like getting little sleeps off, but not able to fully really get there. You can see him like pinging from the sleep up here. I'm like, oh, he's so low, like with Rubik or something. He had no Aeon disc as well. So if GH gets spotted, he could die. But they are just our Val. Armel is catching the next wave, so they have killed off the whole three play. And backdoor protection is going to come back up again. Oh, coil. That's a coil. Doesn't have a way out. The old scepter still in trouble. Lift Avalanche tosses him out. Jab saved by DJ. But then ends up losing his life for the cause. Needs to get some good side blades here. What can they do? They pull him in. Blink back Palos. Wanting to find a target, but look at how little damage this punch takes. They gotta get something here. They gotta be no. careful though too. I don't know. Is he looking to get like some cash back on this thing? Is this a like brand new site, never used? Is he gonna sell at the end of the game? It's not the way that they wanted it to go. There it is. It's about Dream will sell right on top. Surveil survives. Not gonna get hit by the stomp. Wow, they jump in. Paolo's caught silence trying to interrupt. They're dead. And no buyback again for the TA. Nigma, they know that they got this one. If they just keep the chase going, the lift back. Auto gone. Once used. And not nearly enough value out of it. Can I get a Dagon? Can we, can we get a Zap at the very least? Aim is looking rough. Tier 4 towers are going to be hit now. 
Jake McGalaxy on the verge here of moving up in this group stage. A pivotal match for them. They try and get out, but the coil snap because TH got it again. The four staff try and keep Armel alive. Toss back into the fountain. Okay. Dream of Cell goes down. It's a lot of shared gold there. Dyer's middle tower. They get anything else. That might have just saved the game for them. Because he had Chrono back up. Dyer's bottom <laughs> tower is under attack. Yeah, that was getting a little spooky. Sometimes you wind up in the fountain. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> you want if you well hold on, we'll get to that in a second, but okay, lifted mind control right on top of them. Fanatic in a moment. Oh, they find the hook. Even while he slept. I don't think it's gonna matter though. They lose to EJ. And Jab. Trying to find a way out. They jump forward. Find Armel again. Four staff to the low ground. Trying to survive. But the king is on him. Gets the kill. No buyback on either the Coddle or the TA. The punch does fall. Or excuse me, not the TA. The puck or the tiny. Otto dead, and now Januel dead. Otto, the last one left alive. alive. Oh, and he too will fall. Triple kill for Sumail to end it. And Enigma Galaxy take the first game in this series. Radiant Very interesting game. Like, you know, I said earlier, it was pretty even uh, at the Mulaney stage. And uh, very action packed, obviously. It was made with 37 and 19 in terms of the kills. But uh, Enigma Galaxy, they, they had a lot of pressure on them in terms of the kills they had to hunt for. There's 